For as many success stories and acclaimed titles there are out there, the gaming landscape is full of just as many fan backlash and controversies. Whether it was due to a trailer supposedly ruining a franchise or a scandal painting an indelible black mark on a title shortly before its launch, it doesn't take much for some to completely write off a game before they've even had the chance to play it. Even if these games would have been seen in a more favorable light years later, the initial negativity they faced hung over them like a shadow. I'm just from what culture and tier 10 video games you rage quit before playing. Number 10. Assassin's Creed Unity 2014 In the years leading up to Assassin's Creed Unity, the franchise had been through a roller coaster of highs and lows. The swashbuckling success of Black Flag was a breath of fresh air after the comparatively bland plot of AC3, and with the lingering threads of Desmond's storyline still hanging in the air, the next game set during the French Revolution was supposed to revolutionize the franchise, bringing it in to the then next generation. With massive crowds, a revamped control scheme and combat system, co-op missions and sandbox assassinations, Unity was the revitalization Assassin's Creed needed. Unfortunately though, this title did more harm than good. Instead of being remembered fondly for the bustling Parisian setting or protagonist Arno's revenge narrative, Unity is still best known for the borderline unplayable state it launched in. The internet at the time was flooded with footages of various issues played the game. Characters would infamously have no faces, Arno would constantly fall through the map, and NPCs would get stuck in hilarious positions. Despite Ubisoft's efforts to remedy the situation, the damage was already done. Unity's reputation was marred, and fans were likewise wary of picking up the far superior Syndicate the following year. Number 9. DMC Devil May Cry 2013 Sometimes all it takes for a studio to spark controversy within a fanbase is to change things too much. Such which was the case with Devil May Cry reboot DMC Devil May Cry. Taking a completely new stylistic approach to the fan favorite series, this Devil May Cry looked vastly different from what fans were used to. For some, Ninja Theory's reworking of familiar territory was a breath of fresh air. The game was drenched in sleek, pulpy style with challenging hack and slash action that had as much aesthetic flair as the arenas. Complete with a face shredding soundtrack, DMC was like an over the top metal music video come to life. For others though, these differences were just too much of a departure from the series they knew. Most notably, their ire was directed towards the redesign of protagonist Dante. Now the son of an angel mother and demon father, this new character model no longer had their iconic white hair. Instead, this Dante's dark hair and broody demeanor was simply too emo for some fans to take seriously. To these people, these changes rendered the series unrecognizable from their adored franchise, with some still refusing Using to acknowledge its existence. Number 8. Fallout 76 2018 Fallout 76 is one of those cases where everything that could go wrong did go wrong in the worst possible way. When it was originally announced in E3 2018, there was genuine excitement for what was supposed to be an MMO Fallout experience, set within a world said to be four times bigger than Fallout 4 and brimming with even more detail. However, it didn't take long for disaster to follow. Fallout 76 was so full of bugs upon launch that it was simply unplayable for many, but this was more than falling through the map and NPCs with missing limbs. Fallout 76 was fundamentally broken, with many players using exploits to become invincible or crashing entire servers by launching multiple nukes simultaneously. And the problems just kept on coming. Mishandling of refunds, controversy surrounding the quality of pre-order items, and predatory microtransactions only added more fuel to the fire of the ensuing fan backlash. While Bethesda have since attempted to remedy some of the problems, Problems with expansions and updates, this wasn't enough to erase the bad taste left by the catastrophic launch. Fallout 76 may have a dedicated community now, but plenty will never be convinced to jump into the wasteland. Number 7. Anthem 2019 Known for RPG heavyweights Mass Effect and Dragon Age, Bioware is a studio whose name garners a lot of respect within the gaming industry. When it was announced that they were making Anthem, a multiplayer game set on an alien planet, there was understandably grand expectations for what this game could be. However, the excitement was quashed almost immediately when the game launched in February of 2019. To the disappointment of many, Anthem wasn't the explosive action-packed experience it was promised to be. A litany of bugs, a lackluster campaign, and an uninspired gameplay loop were just some of the major reasons that stopped people from picking up this title at launch. A nightmarish development plagued with mismanagement, lack of leadership, 
and technical difficulties with the Frostbite engine were cited as some of the troubles during development, with Bioware promising to add more content and overhaul Anthem in the coming months. But even this promise of a better future was short-lived. Just over two years after the game launched, studio director Christian Daly announced in a blog post that the team would be officially abandoning the game. While the servers are still live, there's still no reason to play Anthem. Number 6. No Man's Sky 2016 Creating a video game is no easy task, especially for smaller studios. Translating an ambitious vision into reality can be an exceedingly challenging task. This was the case for Hello Games' No Man's Sky, a title that promised more than it could ever feasibly deliver. First announced at Sony's 2014 E3 conference, No Man's Sky was marketed as a space exploration game on a scale that we'd never seen before. It was intended to be an infinite universe of possibilities and discoveries. Expectations were high as buzz about the title sparked the imagination of the gaming community. Two weeks before launch, however, excitement was dampened when footage of the game from leaked copies appeared online, showing that No Man's Sky was nowhere near as massive as its creator promised it would be. Game-breaking bugs and an absence of content upon launch only added to the increasing sense of disappointment, with many believing they'd been deceived. Thanks to a handful of massive updates and the tireless dedication of the development team though, No Man's Sky is now everything and more that it was promised to be. If you've still been putting off this game, now is the time to finally see what secrets the galaxy holds. Number 5. Vampire the Masquerade Blood Hunt 2022 Originally released in 2004, vampiric tabletop adaptation Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines is a title that boasts a devout cult following, thanks to its rich RPG gameplay and horror aesthetics. Though Troika, the development team behind the game, would close their doors shortly after its release, news of a sequel being in development in connection with the original team would generate plenty of excitement among fans. However, the future of the sequel looked bleak when news about the production went dark following development team Hardsuit Labs' removal from the project. And then the announcement trailer for Blood Hunt dropped in June of 2021, but this title was far from the sequel fans had been hoping for. Unlike Bloodline, Blood Hunt was yet another free-to-play battle royale. In a genre already overstuffed with Fortnite and Warzone clones, this was the last thing that fans wanted from the franchise. Reports of frustrating bugs and long matchmaking queues made for a bad first impression. But what many didn't expect was for this game to be genuinely good. Different class types lent into the RPG system of the series, whilst a mix of stealthy blood-sucking and fast-paced combat brought a unique twist to the Battle Royale formula. Number 4. Metal Gear Survive 2018. The Metal Gear franchise is best known for its comprehensive stealth mechanics and zany plot, with Metal Gear Solid 5 demonstrating the series' strengths in the best possible way. What Metal Gear isn't, however, is a zombie survival game. And for some unfathomable reason, this was exactly what Metal Gear Survive was. When the title was revealed at Gamescom in 2016, fans made their distaste of the series' new direction known, while Konami responded to the uproar by asking fans to keep an open mind about the spin-off game, the first impressions proved difficult to erase. What made matters worse though was Metal Gear Survive was the first Metal Gear game following Hideo Kojima's departure from Konami, with the acclaimed veterans stating they were not involved in the production alongside news of shifting structures within Konami. Survive gave the impression of a shameless attempt to profit from an established brand. Despite a delayed release, a mediocre gameplay loop anchored around constant grinding and an uninspired plot validated fans' initial woes. But the outrage wasn't over yet. Predatory microtransactions, including making players pay for extra save slots, only added to the near universal condemnation Metal Gear Survive received. Number 3. Call of Duty Infinite Warfare 2016 For a time, the Call of Duty franchise looked unstoppable. Following the astronomical success of Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare in 2007, the shooter series only grew in popularity to become a cultural juggernaut. Refined multiplayer, the introduction of the zombies mode, and consistently entertaining blockbuster spectacles kept fans coming back for each new installment. While the franchise is still massively successful, Call of Duty temporarily fell from grace with the 
the announcement trailer for Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, which would become one of the most disliked videos on YouTube. Before Infinite Warfare, the FPS series had already dipped its toes in science fiction in Black Ops 3 and Advanced Warfare by adding mech suits into the mix. This was already a departure from the boots on the ground gameplay that popularized the series. Infinite Warfare taking the series into outer space was therefore a bridge too far for those who'd grown tired of the series' new direction. Moreover, the decision to make Modern Warfare Remastered obtainable only by purchasing the Legacy Edition of the game only served to further disgruntle fans who were essentially forced into buying a game that they didn't want to get one that they did. Number 2. Mighty Number no. 9 2016 In theory, crowdfunding projects is a beneficial way for creators to make their visions a reality, through the assistance of eager customers who are more than willing to help foot the bill for a product they want. When Japanese developer Keiji Inafune announced that he'd be crowdfunding a spiritual successor to the Mega Man series which he helped create, it's not surprising that the series' existing fanbase leapt at the opportunity to invest in this exciting prospect. The game was my Mighty Number no. 9, which is now best known for the story of its cataclysmic development and reception. Despite earning a staggering 4 million bucks during its Kickstarter campaign, the problems began almost immediately. Not only did Inafune have the goal to ask backers for yet more money after delaying the game, but he also launched a campaign for another game around the same time. Reports of mismanagement of funds only led to further contempt within the fanbase. Four delays and a shockingly bad trailer later there was little optimism left for this title among fans. This game didn't just look awful, it was awful. It was panned upon release for its poor, bland gameplay, lifeless level design, and shoddy difficulty balancing. Essentially, it was an all-round disaster. Number 1. Cyberpunk 2077 2020 It would be impossible to talk about fan backlash without mentioning the controversy and anger that came alongside the release of Cyberpunk 2077. Following the overwhelming success of The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, expectations for the studio's upcoming game were set at an exceptionally high level. Over the coming years, the details dropped about the game promised excited fans an expansive world where choice and customization were at the core of the experience. The inclusion of Keanu Reeves only added to the growing excitement, whilst initial PC reviews prior to the long-delayed launch praised what the team had accomplished. But this was when everything turned sour. The game's launch was marred by more than game-breaking bugs and atrocious performance. Alongside purposefully hiding console versions of the game from reviewers, reports also surfaced about months of crunch time from developers, resulting in an outcry from irate fans displeased with the studio's handling of the game. The game was likewise removed from the PlayStation Store, while some retailers stopped pre-orders due to its atrocious performance. Said a project Red's shares subsequently took a massive blow. Though now it's definitely in the state it should have launched in, it'll take more than patches to salvage this disaster for some. That's the end of our list, but let me know down in that comment box if you can think of any other video games that you rage quit before playing and why. As always, I've been Jess from What Culture. You can come say hi to me on my Twitter account if you want, where I'm at Jess McDonald. But make sure you stay tuned to us here for plenty more gaming goodness.